Now I'm starting. I'm diving head first. It's time for new and tasty. Man, am I fucking excited to play this. So excited. Very first game that I ever uploaded to YouTube when I had streamed it. So yeah, the uh, because you guys probably where I'm streaming now at Stream Boy Advance, I didn't stream Abe's Odyssey here way back in the day. So you guys might not have be too familiar with uh, what this game's based on. Mm -hmm. I don't really think I have to change any of this stuff. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, if you're not too familiar with it, I recommend you uh, check it out. I've streamed the entire thing live. It's on my channel. First thing I ever did. And uh, because I upload these clips to YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll probably put some footage of uh, when I played Abe's Odyssey so you can compare, like see what they did. If I'm feeling up to it, I'm really lazy, so don't hold me to it. Uh -huh. So let's just start the game. Let's uh, see. Enjoy the scenery, then dodge bullets and teeth. Challenging but fair, the way nature intended. Nothing too taxing, but you'll be needing those checkpoints. Already completed the, the Odyssey. This mode's for you. Sure shot slakes, deadly creatures, lethal traps, and classic health. Yeah, so again, if you're not familiar, classic health means there is no health. You, you get hit once, you die. The game rolled like that. You had infinite lives, but the game was punishing. But, uh... Normally, I'd be like, hey, let's let's go hard. I know it's what, but uh, because normal is a big change, you'll be having checkpoints, and I think you have a health bar. I want to try this out just because it's new. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. There's co-op. Just like uh, just like in the original, you got your uh, you can take turns. A well, Abe's Odyssey. I don't I don't consider it very hard, Grim, but uh, a lot of people consider it pretty difficult. Follow me. And I, I'm guessing that hard mode in this plays a lot like... Because the game didn't have difficulty settings. The uh, first one here. Alright, so let's see. Um, isn't uh, L2... Okay, so we got L1 to sneak. That's fine. I think L2 should be run. I'm not... Again, like I don't I don't know what I'm getting into at all. I purposely researched as little as possible because I wanted to be super surprised. But um hmm. Everything yeah, triangle was normally jump before. X was crouch, but you didn't need a crouch because you could just press down to crouch, so I don't know, that might be it might be hard. Let's uh let's do this though. You run with the analog sticks? Oh, I didn't really look. I was just kind of shooting the shit and not paying attention. This is Rupture Farms. Oh wow, this looks great. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. Like, look at how good this looks. Like, ugh, the C like the CG back then looked great, but this is just so crisp and nice. Because the CG back then, you're playing on PlayStation One, and it's running at like what, 640 by 480? It's just so cool to see Abe's Odyssey again, but new and tasty. That's me. My name is Abe. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss of the world. Mullet the Gluckin. And this opening cutscene is almost exactly the same. 
my whole just with better graphics. In just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. We used to make beach munchies. Until the beaches were through. All the dialogue is exactly the same. The whole storytelling is all here. And we made some good scrab cakes, too. And we made some good scrab cakes, too. I thought I no, I've played through this. I've played through this so many times. I bet you I could do all the cutscenes. I could just, I could mimic the entire thing. That would blow his mind. Oh, they changed it. It's supposed to be that would blow my mind. See, they snuck up on me there. Now that would blow my mind. Okay, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I lied. All my boasting. The Gluckens were scared because prophets were grim. Paramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. As you can see, things are going down. <laughs> what? Even their hardly coherent speech is the exact same. had a plan. I mean, it's newly voiced, but it's still the same noise this and dialogue. Kind of it, was it was us! It was us! I just had to escape. I just had to be free. And I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! <laughs> wow. So, so far, I haven't even, like, there hasn't even been any gameplay. But this is already amazing. This is exactly what I expected and wanted. Alright, so let's fucking, let's do this. Wow. Alright, so... Okay, so the D-pad is the top. Okay, so... The analog stick a little bit is to walk, and holding it is to run, okay. X is jump up and hang? Oh jeez, okay. So is it like forward and X? Okay, I gotcha. Wait, how do I enter things? Press square to use levers and enter open doors. Okay, normally you could just press up. Like that, that jump up I did was normally just you tap up. Yeah, like that. Oh, I guess that was a checkpoint? And yeah, like scenes like this, like... The first screen would look like this, and then you would run, and then the screen transition would be right there, and then it'd be the next screen. Like, it's all scrolling, and that doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but that's fantastic. It looks great. Okay, so... The only thing that's a little weird is that... It's like, when you're playing the game, you take one step to move forward like a space. There doesn't seem to be like designated spaces in this, so... I don't know. Okay, sneak. I wanna sneak. That wasn't the sneak button. This is the sneak button. Also, I think... Okay, hold on. Is he back to sleep yet? Because normally you could just, yeah, you go off screen, come back, and he's asleep. And there's actually... In Abe's Odyssey, there was a Mudokin right there, like between the Switch and him. 
and it would seem like it's impossible to save him, but if you know how to chant, which I do, so I'm going to do it, you can possess this guy, and you can have him do all the things for you. Is circle still shoot? Yep, circle still shoot. And then what you would do is you would run way down down here. There, yeah, there'd be Mudokin right here too. And a switch you could pull to kill him, because it'd be like, oh, press switches to activate things, and you'd kill him by accident, you'd feel like an idiot. There, There's a secret right here, you could pull a switch and jump down. Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe pulling this switch drops him. They just put it a little later. That's okay though. And yeah, there's this guy, and you can kill him. And then I can chant to blow him up. Yeah, you can. And see, now I don't have to sneak. Now I can just uh, fucking run around and do it. Oh, I already got that switch, so let's just move on. Hello. Hello. What was that that just fell off of me? What are those things that are falling? I pressed L1. Should I look up what that does? What does L1 do? Okay, so the D-pad is just what talking is now. But, uh, controls. Yeah, button layout. What did L1, what was L1 doing? Or R1, I think. Throw drop? What was I dropping? I don't have things. I don't. Okay. Anyways. Hey there, everybody. Hello. Okay, that's different. A square would normally be follow me, which is to the left. So I thought if I pressed left, it would do that. And then this uh, in Abe's Odyssey was actually a pulley. You wouldn't push a button. You would start doing a pulley. And then I can chant. I haven't really been reading the, the scrolling things. Do I have a thing in my hand? What can I throw? And how do I throw? Maybe one day people will follow me around. Oh, is that a coin? Is that what I'm doing is throwing coins? Well, ain't that something. Anyways. I want to open that bird portal. Oh, that looks cool. It didn't open up into like a cool looking thing before. Alright, so that's two. Two down. Oops. Squared enter doors. Fleeing deeper into the grinding lines than ever before, but not long ago Abe was just waxing floors. Okay. So let's try out this quick save thing. Tap once to quick save. Okay, cool. So I guess all of- oh yeah, also- all of you wasn't uh, introduced until Abe's Exodus, so that's kind of cool. Okay, cool. I should probably see what this is. It is a map. Wow, this is a fancy map. So I'm pretty sure Zulegs 2 through 4 aren't going to be available until the end of the game. Holy shit, there's 297 Wudokens, there's only 99 in this obviously. Alright, cool. Whoops, I missed it. Oh, this tran- this little- this room wasn't here before this transition? Okay. Those things mean I can't chant. There'll be no chanting here. And that gets rid of him. Whoops, I forgot X is jump. I want to- yeah, like that. That's how I like to do. Oh, 
<laughs> can I chant right here? Oh yeah, I can. Did he just say fucker or sucker? That would be something else if he said fucker, isn't it? Okay, everything's cool. Let's just blow him up. Alright, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to the new controls, just because I've played Apes Odyssey like a hundred times, but... So far, everything is good. I like what's going on here. One thing I need to check. Okay, that kills you. Maybe it was the one before it, but I know one of those should lead to a secret area. Yeah, the second one had 200. I'm gonna go ahead and just test out this other one. Okay, so this totally led me to a secret. See, look at this, I'm a professional. Okay, that was bad. I thought that was Shadow there. I died. Wow. Oh cool, the checkpoint's right here. That's where I would have quick saved if I had remembered to quick save. Oh no, he killed them. Quick save. I just want to go back to that checkpoint. Oh, pardon me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save here so that I can quick load if I fuck up. Oh, those bolts didn't hit anybody. Okay, good. He's like, I'm sleeping. It's, it's laid out a little differently. So it's throwing me off a bit. Oh, that didn't go how I expected, but I still pulled it off. This is going really fast. I don't think I can beat it if I ran. No, 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 no. Okay, no one died. I guess they were too low? In Abe's Odyssey, that didn't matter. Okay, he's back to sleep. So this thing has slowed down a lot, so now I can get grenades. Oops. Oh, I want to get the grenade. Okay, just walk over it. So now I need to blow up that thing so I can possess everyone and kill everyone. Oh, I killed two guys doing that. I definitely should have quick saved a little, a little after I did that. Okay, I'm gonna get it though. I'm determined. Can you go back to sleep so I can make this jump. Quick save right here. Man, this is hard. Hmm. 
I think what I should do is just go across to the other side to do it. That way I don't kill anyone by accident. One last quick save right here. And I'm pretty sure shit's gonna pop off exactly how I want it right here. Okay, I did that. Cool. Got a trophy for it, too. So now there's no thing. And now I'm going to possess people. What's cool about this is normally in Age of you couldn't possess this guy because that thing's up there. But because it just wasn't on screen, I can. So I'm just going to blow him up. And now it's your fucking turn down there. And there's way more guys around here too. I think there's only like a couple down here before. Maybe that's why there's way more Mudokins. They just like put way more in the game. So I, get, I can grab these guys. No, I want to get him now. No, I wanted both of you. Wait, were those mines down there? I think those were mines down there, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, there's mines there. I just didn't see them before because I'm a huge moron. Oops. And now that time, I died. Because I was using the aim to look around and was cooking a grenade in my hand. Alright. 